Let's go over to page 123. Um, we're going to run through this ever so quickly. Uh, extracellular, because you remember you're preparing for your test. Extracellular digestion is that they digest their food outside of the cell and then they absorb it in. Uh, the mycelium, remember, is the main body of the fungus. Uh, the hyphae is the filamentous fungal cells. Um, do I need to go through all these or do you guys have pretty good definitions for these already? You're okay on these? Uh, number two, which of the following characteristics or structures exist for the vast majority of fungi? You guys tell me. Extracellular reproduction, either say most or, or few. So what do you think? Extracellular reproduction, uh, digestion, I'm sorry, what did you get? Most, most good. Um, what about stolons? Few. Most. Hmm, yeah, that's a good question, hang on. Fungus expert, I am so not. Common in the majority of the fungi. Okay, it does not list the stolons as common in the majority of the fungi. So I guess that's a few. Okay. Um, how about chitin? Most. How about caps and stalks? That's a few. How about sporangiophores? Few. Actually, that's few. You know what? Shame on me. Let me just. The majority of fungi have extracellular digestion, chitin, mycelia, because that's the mycelium, hyphae, because those are the filamentous uh, cells, cells and rhizoid hyphae, because that is the mycelia's hyphae. Everything else there would be considered in some. Okay? So I just want you to know that. Okay, number three. Some biologists say that a mushroom is much like an iceberg because only 10% of the iceberg is visible from the surface of the ocean. What do they mean? Good. The mycelium is embedded in the food and that's most of the fungus and you usually can't see that, can you? Very good. Um, isn't that great that she was able to do that with one word? That was just really great. That was good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then we get to number four. What is the difference between septate and non-septate hyphae? Um, Remember the septate is separated, good, and the non-septate is not. Uh, number five, what is the function of the following specialized hyphae? Rhizoid hyphae, what's that, the job there? Well, it's the main body of the fungus. Right, it's the mycelium, so it's for food and for support, right? Good. How about stolen? Good, asexual reproduction, that's what you were going to say, isn't it? Spore for? Uh, it's reproduction. I think it's still asexual reproduction, but let's just say, let's say reproduction. We'll be safe, okay? Here, I'll tell you what. Let's see what they say. Number five. Yep, all it says is a spore for releases spores for reproduction. So we'll just say spores, okay? Hostorium. Food. Food. I like it. <laughs> Parasitic food. That's right. Very good. Okay. Um, Let's see, then we get to number six of the hyphae listed above. Which ones are aerial? Good, stolen sporophore, good. Uh, number seven, what is the difference between a sporangiophore and a canidiophore? Sporangiophore has enclosure, has no Right, makes me think they're really reaching there for that one, but anyway. Uh, number eight, give the main characteristic associated with each of the phyla and remember, guys, these are all distinguished from one another by how they produce their spores sexually. So what they want there is the Basidia mycota produce the Club. spores, right, club fungi, they produce it in the, the Basidia, right. The, the zygomycota actually, oh, excuse me, I, I skipped ascomycota, they produce it in the ASCII or the little sac. The zygomycota actually make an, a zygospore when the two hyphae come together. The chondridiomycota, what kind of spore do they make? Flagellated. Flagellated. Very good. Deutermycota, what do we got there? We don't have any sexual We don't know how they sexually produce their, um, their spores. And what about myoxymycota? They look like protozoa. Good. They look like protozoa when they're feeding and they look like fungi when they're not. Yeah, they're really interesting. <laughs> I'd say they're confused, but I think they're just confusing to us, so... Number nine, describe each of the stages associated with the life cycle of a mushroom starting, oh yeah, okay, you can do that at home. Number 10, what is the main difference between the shelf fungus, pokeballs, and mushrooms? What did you put down for that? 
where the spores are found. In the mushroom, it's in the gills. In the shell fungus, it's up underneath the shelf. And you guys saw that last week, I hope. And then in the furry part. And then in the puff balls, it's in, in the puff. That's in the little thing. Um, okay, don't go home and take the puff out of the bathroom and shake it out looking for spores. It won't work. Number 11, what is, the alternative, what is an alternative host? And remember, that's something that the fungi needs for a part of its life cycle to survive. And it says list types of fungi that, um, list a type of fungus that uses one. What'd you get? Rust. rust. Very good. Wheat rust. Okay, uh, remember the barberry is its uh, alternative host. Number 12, what type of fungus is best known for fermentation? Yeast. Yeast. To which phylum does it belong? Good, Ascomycota, very good. Number 13, how is budding different from asexual reproduction in bacteria? Good, good. A few of you said that. It stays attached to the parent as it grows. Very good. And then name at least two pathogenic fungi and the maladies. You don't have to do that here, but please make sure that you can name two diseases that are produced by fungi. That would be helpful. And it asks for the fungi. Um, so you could do smut, couldn't you? And what does it do? It's the corn. Um, you know, something like that. Uh, 15, describe the three ways a bread mold can reproduce. And so remember that would be the stolen, that would be the spores, or that would be the um, two hyphae coming together making a zygospore and then a growing one. Number 16, what, and the last one was the only one that was sexual reproduction. What puts a fungus into phylum deuteromycota? Come on, somebody over here. How do they get in deuteromycota? Good. When they don't understand how they sexually produce spores, they put them in deuteromycota. Very good. Uh, number 17, what can happen when an antibiotic is used too much? It can... Go ahead. Good. It kills all the good bacteria. Very good. And it leads to strains of immune bacteria antibiotic resistant bacteria is what we call them. Um, I hate to use the word immune when it comes to bacteria. 18, name the genus of fungus, uh, fungus that produces penicillin. Penicillium. Penicillium. You want penicillium. You want to know that. You want to know that. <laughs> uh, 19, when a slime mold is a plasmodium, it resembles organisms from what kingdom? Good. Number 20, what is the easiest way to get rid of slime mold? Dry it, Dry it out. Very good. And what are two major forms of mutualism in which fungi participate? Right there it's looking for fungus root and the lichen. And describe each relationship and the job. And so we said that in the lichen, the algae pr made the food and the fungi produced, the, you know, provided the home. Uh, and in the fungus root, we talked about that the fungus actually increases the surface area and p pulls in minerals that the plant benefits from, and then the plant provides the food for the fungus. So in both cases, it's mutualism, isn't it? And then what's a ceridium? Just like substance. Good, and it's a spore that actually holds the fungus and the algae for the lichen, right? Yes. You can actually say it's a lichen spore. Yeah, you could say that, couldn't you? Okay, 